hey beauties welcome back so beauties today i'm going to be comparing these two method on how to apply your eyeshadow okay so it's basically uh setting your base after um before eyeshadow and non setting your base before eyeshadow if you get what i'm trying to say okay all right so right here i'm just applying my concealer which i normally use as my base and this one is by makeup revolution define and conceal uh in the shade c12 okay so i'm just applying that and i'm going to distribute this all over my my lid and up to my crease with a flat concealer brush um, by uh, mac okay so yeah now i'm going in with this usual brush that i use in setting in blending my uh, concealer you understand so yeah so this eye right here will be the uh, the one i will set and this other one will be the one that i won't set okay so to set my eyes i'm using this Technic soft focus translucent powder and I'm applying that with a real techniques um, brush so I'm just setting this part of the eye like you know normal as normal <laughs> I don't even know what to say so yeah that's what I'm doing guys and you can tell that this eye looks greasy and this eye looks matte you see so yeah so this is the palette I'll be using and it's by makeup revolution like I love this palette I love the fact that it has a lot of beautiful colors so I'm going in with the orange shade right there and I'm applying it on my uh, transition area okay so this is my normal way of applying my eyeshadow I mean my transition color like if you've been following for a while you know that I normally start at the outer part of my crease and then blend it into uh into the inner part of my crease you understand so yeah so i'll be using same color same brush for both eyes okay so you can get it right and see if there will be any difference so now i'm doing the other part which i set with a translucent powder or a setting powder whatever powder you have okay in case you want to try this out so one thing i noticed is i noticed that this part that i set with the translucent powder the product i added on it transferred more in, i mean towards my brow bone more than the part that i didn't say you can see the difference guys right so yeah that's one thing i noticed i mean one difference i noticed about it Mind you, I've tried both methods, like I've used both methods, so I don't really have issues with them. They are really, really great ways to, you know, get your eye makeup done. And yeah, if you're good in blending, you get a perfect look out of both methods, you understand? So now I just went in with a deeper orange shade and I added that at the up on the outer part of my crease and, you know, and then blend it inward. So now I'm going in with this darker shade just to intensify the look, okay? Because I was thinking of a smoky eye look you get. So yeah, so I'm just going to use that shade right, I mean that dark shade to um, to darken or yeah, to get the kind of um, smoky eye that I was looking out for. So 
guys i chose to do this simple eye look because of um i mean for the interest of beginners you know so in case if there is anyone who would like to try it out so that's why i just chose to i chose to do a simple eye look of course you guys know my thing is simple eye look you understand so yeah and yeah i also want you guys to be the judge please let me know what you think in the comment section below okay so which method do you think it's easy which method do you do you prefer and which one will you go for if you are to choose between both of them you understand so for me i will go for the non-setting um eye look because you know i'm just that kind of a girl that loves to you know free herself from stress so because i believe it saves time and it saves products you get so now i just went in with that shade that white shade called scent just to you know uh for the inner part of my lid not to be plain you get not to be bare so and then i just um went in and blend everything all together this is basically it for the look like this is just it is as simple as that you understand and it's going to look like this okay so beauties please let me know what you think in the comment section below about this two method i would be so grateful if you let me know your thoughts so yeah this is it and So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and yeah, that will be it. Bye!